Tim sets the stage in a way that is really open and really safe and there's never a no you can't do that or no that's not right it's always yes and yes and yes and um, and so you kind of end up really thinking on your feet and going too big sometimes but at least they have it in the bag in case they want to use it um, and the fun thing with the animated characters is we get to improv kind of opposite them and they don't say anything back but what I improv and what I do physically uh, with my physicality in the role the reactions I give um, actually allows them to be able to animate even more so they're kind of able to animate off of what I give in my coverage which is a cool um, experience which I've never had that control in so you're kind of a creator and an actor. Well I think there's something hilarious about their slapstick comedy I mean they're trying to you know it's kind of like the Three Stooges they're all trying to kill each other in a lot of ways on accident sometimes and on purpose in others um, and at the end of the day you know I think it's what you really see in our movie is that these two are in some way obsessed with each other they're best friends in a lot of ways. When I first actually met with Tim Story, our director, one of the coolest things he told me in the very beginning was that it's this almost alternate universe. So you know you're in New York City, it seems like New York City, it looks like New York City, but then if you look in the background, the blue sky is a little shaded with hand-drawn, and the leaves are a little hand-drawn, and every animal in the world, be it a fish on the plate that someone's you know, about to eat, is a hand-drawn fish. So there's this kind of element of fantasy within the realm of reality, uh, which gives you an interesting escape. She's strangely lovable for how many bad decisions she makes and how many times she actively lies, but she does it not to just gain the upper leg and kind of, you know, she's never malicious, she never has malintent. She's doing it to try to prove who she is and to really show everyone that she's worthy of this place in life, but it's a little misguided. Kind of the moral of the story is that if you know you have Tom and Jerry and then you have the real life Tom and Jerry, which are basically me and Terrence, me and Michael Pena, um, and I'm more the Jerry and he's more the Tom. And if they can end up working together, the real cat and mouse, why can't we? Uh, and so it's a good kind of human tale. Um, I would say that Jerry is definitely more like me actually in my chinese zodiac i am a rat so maybe that's why i feel so much like jerry um no i love jerry i mean he's really cunning and he's quick and he's silly and he's very cheeky and i appreciate that for sure it's a really beautiful story uh, about working together and learning each other but it also has all the really fun slapstick comedy that you'd expect not just out of tom and jerry but out of the human actors too um, and to expect a good family-friendly ride.